about a year post-op. Um, you can see this is the before here, and I'll just pass over here from the profile view. You can see that as well, and that's looking straight on. So this is his one year final result. That's his. And let's take a look at this. Go ahead, Doc. So we just wanted to point out a couple things. First of all, uh, if you zoom in, um, we can see there's the graphs in place, okay? and you can see that basically the entire front half of the head was reconstructed and we'll try to get that, there we go, there's some focus and um, so the entire half of the head was reconstructed, you can see that's one side there and there's the other side there and then we saw the full on view so this patient uh, received almost 3200 grafts in this entire area, approximately an area the size of your palm um, I'm going to ask him to turn to his left this way so we can take a look at the heroin. Now here's the interesting thing. Number one, when you're looking at the hairline closely, you can see that it looks 100% natural. Here's where it's very important that you consider the angulation of the hair. All these hairs that were planted were designed to be pointing forward at a very And again, you can see um, how the hairline essentially looks 100% natural, the softness, as well as how the hair is angled forward, creating that overlapping effect. And if I comb away like this, you can see that the transplant is 100% natural. <laughs> and I'll comb back. And go all the way down, put your chin down so we can get a view of the entire head. So you, just to show that we're not concealing anything, this gentleman was completely bald in the front of one third. Keep chilling all the way down. Look at your toes. So you can see he has achieved practically full coverage with the proper style. Now, you'll notice the summer is a little bit thin here and there, but generally speaking, this is what a good transplant on a gentleman who's very, fairly bald can achieve. From the front, looking like he has a full head of hair with a proper style, he can achieve a style that makes him look to the rest of the world like he has practically a full head of hair. Do you want to take a, maybe a um, scar? I think we're okay. He's healed very well. He's healed very well. Um, let me see if I can. It's hard to get to focus sometimes. So, can I turn things off? Let's see if we can. So this is a. Uh, should it's the close with the scar? Trick, mm -hmm. trick fitic? This one was not. No, why not? Just because of the inflammatory response. Okay. So there's a bit right. of an inflammation response that the gentleman's so having. So that's your strip scar, right there. So again, those brush bristles are about one millimeter. Just to give you an idea, it's probably about one point five millimeters in length. Mm -hmm. Very minimal. Great. Okay. Robert De Niro, our <laughs> resident Robert. Robert, I, I want to, let's just call you De Niro. Can you just ask me if I'm talking to you? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> now listen, I, this is, we do the honesty thing here, okay? So let, tell me quickly what you were, when, I, when you came to see me, tell me what you were about to do. Don't name names and tell, and tell people what brought you here. I was about to do the laser treatment. Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Which uh, I found out in the end doesn't uh, rest restore hair, it just keeps your hair healthy. Yeah. You know, hair that you have. And so when you came to us, how did you feel about yourself? How did you feel about your hair loss uh, prior to the transplant? Well, just, just well I, I had no um, self confidence okay. when I came to you guys. Uh, I was embarrassed of my. The way I looked, the way I was balding. How old are you? I, at the time, I was 29. And how, how, how old did you feel you looked? Well, I felt like a 35, 40 year old man. Now, when you look at yourself, even with your De Niro face going on, how old do you think you look now? I feel my age, yeah. 30 years old. And a good looking 30, too. Um, tell us about the procedure, how it felt. Tell us why you picked this clinic. Um, well, my uh, we did a lot of research and we found this clinic and we met Paul, and Paul was. Uh, outstanding and letting us know how the treatment was going to be and uh, everything about it and we felt really confident with uh, going through the, with the procedure and uh, the procedure itself was virtually painless it, uh, and um, 
the healing process was uh, pretty good too. What would a scale of one to ten of the trans like the pain for the procedure scale of one to ten? And be honest. Um, in the beginning, it was maybe a four. Okay. And then throughout the procedure, it was like the local anesthetic of four. That that's correct. Yeah, and then after you had the local after, anesthetic. After that. It was nothing. There was no. And how about the, the, for the couple of days after the transplant? The only thing it, it was just irritating because you wanted to scratch it. Right. So, but you can't. It was itchy. It was itchy, but, but no it pain. wasn't pain, painless. It wasn't painful. So, you remember the old you. I do this to everybody. First off, those photos that we just showed, are they of you? Yes. Those are really you? Yes. No, nothing's been re photoshopped. That's who you were. Nothing at all. And you look in the mirror, and now you look at that guy. Who do you see? I see a new me. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you know, you. Uh, I would say this. $8,000 for a hair transplant, worth it? Definitely worth it. If you're, uh, if somebody's going to be looking at this, uh, you know, several hundred people every month, a couple thousand people every year will be looking at this. If you have one thing that you could say to those guys who are looking at this, who are balding, who are just like you a year ago, what would you say to them? I would say go ahead and do it. If that's what you truly want to do, go ahead and do it. Any regrets? No regrets at all. That's it. Perfect. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Awesome. Cheers.